What do you think uh, the Macedonian economy lacks uh, in terms of um, attracting uh, investments, uh, international investments, uh, in terms of attracting uh, maybe even Macedonian diaspora deposits? Just how can we uh, attract more people to look at Macedonia as a good investment destination? And maybe uh, how can we uh, break those walls <laughs> and make people understand that we actually do have potential, especially in people here. I mean, the, the comment I would make is a stronger alignment. The comments which I made uh, to President Tchaikovsky a long time ago, and that Srebrenkovsky and Tanizayev and Gruevsky and um, the, current, um, um, the current prime minister of the opposition, the, the real commitment to competitiveness of the country. I mean, it is absolutely important. And again, hopefully the next month we'll provide some examples of what's possible. Corruption has to be addressed. I mean, I know sometimes it, it's a, but you can look at any report, accession to EU. And I would agree that digitization is a major opportunity. We have too many regulations. And any time you need to get an approval, it's just too tempting, maybe for, for lower level people, to, to make some additional money. And I'm not accusing, I'm not pointing fingers, but you want to eliminate temptations for corruption at all levels. Uh, so lower regulations, if you will, uh, digitize the processes, and to have a real commitment from top down that we have to be attacking this cancer of society, which impacts so many countries. It's not just developing countries. Unfortunately, corruption, uh, has started to become involved in many countries, and let us be the let us be a, a beacon of of, of, of um, uh, if you will of goodwill. And again, although things do not look promising, I'm the true optimist. And also, may I would just say, between tourism, between our um, ability to keep more of our young people in the country, I mean, the tragedy is. Some of the same Macedonians that, 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 that don't seem like, to, you know, lots of businesses as our workers are not as uh, motivated as we need to be. The same individuals go overseas, they're superstars. Yeah. <laughs> so I do think it's both ways to so get this competitiveness, digitization, attacking corruption, but really for, for the business community to step up, I think they're ready. I mean, I'm not going to mention many companies, but Alpha Link. I mean, I'm just so impressed with my friend Zivko Moketo is doing. They're investing in their people. They're growing internationally. And I mean, again, there's, you know, there's many other small and entre uh, entrepreneurial businesses. But I do think this comes at a time where it's good to be optimistic, but also the reality is that the country is not moving nearly as fast as we have to. And I think the elections, and I think this, uh, I mean, people use the word the rest of charter, and people are disappointed. I think it's even more serious than that. And that's why you know, I love the country. I love, you know, this is, you know, love for me to be, a, to be a much stronger place, but I do think the level of seriousness is required. Uh, Mesa in 2025 is going to play our small part, try to advocate things that make sense. And for people to really try to put some activities, put country first versus if this is a conservative or a progressive agenda, or if, if this is helping, the majority population and the majority is that there are a number of things that truly are helping all the stakeholders. And I think that's, that's what's going to have to be achieved. And uh, some promising stories the last 20 years, but I do think we need to become much more centered. Again, where we are, central location, uh, still the level of education is good, not as great as it needs to be, is quite appropriate. And by just doing alignment in a small country is critical otherwise we will keep being in a place where uh, none, I mean, none of us want, want to see the country we love to, uh, to stay in.